you, you will push this slide just in a bit Now let's work on the window, sorry, on this door. So for the door, we can start with our boolean, uh, which again, I'm going to move to my boolean uh, collection. Then I can subtract it. So let me just copy this modifier. And for the object, just going to pick uh, this here. And uh, for this object, I'll change it to wireframe so that I can easily see what I'm cutting. Then I can just start moving these faces around until I'm, satisfi I'm satisfied with what I have. I think our door needs to be a bit wider than this. So that might mean, I think, something like this. So that means that uh, our window is a bit too close. I'm also going to move this just a bit, maybe somewhere there. So this means that uh, this window should move a bit. Uh, which basically means that uh, this object has to extend something like that and uh, this frame should be moved to fit okay I can extend that like that And you can see what we have in a few minutes. Also duplicate this, increase the array count for uh, these uh, posters. Change their spacing a bit to reflect what we have in our scene. Uh, let's add, start working on these handles. Maybe let's start first work on this door. I think this door is more clear. So I'll just work on this on this side. So I can start with a plane like this and just rotate it 90 degrees. Uh, the proportions can be adjusted later. You just need to get the design looking right. Now we need to add in uh, this window so i'm just adding a loop beveling that by the way if you have any questions uh, you can ask if you want to and uh, now i can select this face here delete that select those inside loops and then round them off like that i think we need more resolution for that so i'm just going to Now merge any extra. Have you ever tried twin motion? A uh, Roger, a uh, Roger. Ah, uh, no, I have not. I have not. But I've heard of it. Just haven't tried it. Now I can select this here. Just want to create a ring around here, so that so that I can extrude uh, the frame from it. I don't know anyone can model anything without 
uh, the grid snap on. Yeah, actually, I never model with the grid snap on. I think it's it just gets in the way. That's why I never have it turned on. also work on this side so that the spacing is even and the similar now we're going to use a mirror modifier on this so let me select the outside edges and then this inside edge loop then extrude in like that and i can move my cursor to selection shift s cursor to selected and then origin to 3d cursor and then add mirror modifier just need to apply the rotation just want to make sure that the mirror modifier is set to this side i can also add uh, the bevel shade smooth Turn on auto smooth and then make sure this is set to angle. Now we can reduce the angle, turn on hard on minimals to have something like this. Now I can select this outside loop and uh, extrude it just a bit out. Uh, so these rings here, this outside edge loops here could be improved and I'm also just also going to subdivide uh, this in the middle so that I only work on one side and use the mirror mounts fire for the other side and uh, try to improve some of these edge loops here This is what we have now i can also add in some loops here just so we get in some bit of details on the inside of the, the door like that do you ever take a break <laughs> i've been asked that question quite a few times but I don't even know how to take a break anymore. Uh, the only kind of work I've been doing all my life is online work, which requires me to be online 24 seven and uh, in front of my computer. So this is what I know how to do. Just sit on my computer and do work. Before I started working in 3D, I used to, to I'm still a programmer and a web developer which is basically just sitting on your computer all the time so uh, this is my life i guess uh, i'm also going to add this a uh, small dent how uh, that you see there so for that i think it's around here you can just have this connected to that going to get rid of some of uh, the loops we have here just trying to find a way to make this polygon flow make sense without adding too much polygons uh, that are not necessary that 
delete that face and select this and then connect this to that so just have to connect this to this so it seems that uh, this has messed up our bagel somehow so I need to find out what vertices are too close to each other that our that they're mess, messing out our messing up our edge loop. So I think I, if I add a vertex an edge loop there. Hmm. So it seems if I add that face here. My bevel is being disabled because I have some overlapping vertices. Let me first see. Okay, so it doesn't like to have these many faces closer. So let me see if I push that. Yeah, then that should work. Uh, except for this side. Like that. So now we can add another mirror mod modifier. But uh, before we do that, let's place this into position. Take this 90 degrees. So the doors are a bit too tall. So and maybe a bit too wide. So somewhere like that, that's good. Now I'm just going to use uh, the array modifier here instead of a mirror modifier to add another door around there. Just space it a bit and uh, on this door we have this kind of support so I'm also going to add that. So let's add a cube here. Then add a bevel. Just increase the segments, add in normals and then auto smooth have something like that. You can also have an array for this. Let's apply rotation. So that goes on that side. Again these are still too wide I think so
think I just need to get the boolean and uh, make it wider so that our door can fit So you constantly need to adjust things to have everything fit. Ah, there's also this rubber uh, thing going on between the doors. So for that, I uh, can just create a tool structure here, a T structure, sorry. Let's maybe just make it a bit rounded off. So that it looks like rubber. Open renders, yeah, we, you're a bit late, so we have gone about, I, I think an hour has passed, I'm not sure. Oh, actually, 40, 47 minutes, just. So let me just send this, and make sure this is set to auto smooth, and I can add in a few extra details here, punch in just a few extra details push this in so sometimes you just have to make things look right they don't necessarily have to work exactly like the real world so my understanding is that this would be a rubber a thing that is attached to this side and uh, this left side will be attached to this but I'm just making it look like it's supposed to look just pushing that in just a bit and then use the bevel to have something like that and now let's uh, what else can we do here that is easy I'm very hesitant uh, to work on the materials just yet because we haven't done with the modeling and uh, materials can take up quite some time uh, let me just work on the lighting a bit here so that our model everything looks a bit nice Anyways, it's good to still subdivide doors and stuff. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm going to turn on contact shadows so that yeah, we have contact shadows. So let's have these above the lights here. Uh, I'm also going to make this material, uh, this light material uh, emit no shadow, have no shadow. I also want to duplicate this light a few times, so I'm just going to use Alt D to duplicate this a few times like that on this side I'm also going to 